In this chapter, we're going to create the fireplace. To begin, let's take a look at some of the reference photos that we have to work with. You'll see a photograph taken of an elevation of it. This fireplace has come a long way and used to just be black tile. We actually painted over this and then glazed it, found this mantle. And then since it's a non-working fireplace, we included these wood branches to give it some character. Now, I'm certainly not the designer of this. I'll have to thank my wife for all of her interior design decor ideas. The fireplace itself is pretty simple. We have the base, we have the mantle, and the real detail that we're going to have to create is in these spindles or these columns that you see here. Now, the workflow for this is really meant to show you how to simplify some of this complex geometry. We'll begin with the base, then we'll create the mantle, we'll add the detail of these columns, and then we'll apply a simple texture for the tile and the branches. Let's go back into SketchUp and let's zoom in. Take the Select tool and double click so that we're inside the first floor group. The base is 9 inches from the ground, so take the Tape Measure tool and draw a guide at 9 inches. Take the Line tool and draw a line across that guide. And remember, Group Often and Group Soon. Double click, select the base, and then right click and make it a group. Or if you have the keyboard shortcut, you can select G. Next, double click to enter the group. Go ahead and take the push pull and push pull this out 17 inches. Next, with push pull, click Option or Control on MPC and push pull this down 3 inches. Now, with that push pull, it reversed this top face. So go ahead and right click and reverse that top face. Click Option again just to turn that plus sign off and push pull the sides in 1 inch. Take the Select tool and just click outside of the group. Single click the group itself. And then if you have the keyboard shortcut for H to hide, go ahead and hide the object. Or you can right click and hide it. We want to clean up this geometry here. So take the Line tool and just draw a line over this bottom edge to heal this surface. And what it does is, since we created that as a group, that face became part of that group and left this blank. And I don't want that because you'll notice after we erase the edge and guide and then unhide the base, we want this face here to show. Let's move on to the next section where we'll begin creating the mantle. 